I used to think that fame was the only thing that mattered. And I realized that there's something that matters to me more. What? You. She has to listen to it. That's the point of all this. I'm doing my best. Look, when you told me to seduce her... Befriend her was the word I used, actually. Whatever. The thing is, I was into it because I thought it would be a good acting exercise. But now, I think I kind of like her. I don't want her to get hurt. I saw you perform at sectionals. Your rendition of Don't Rain On My Parade was flawed. You totally lack Barbara's emotional depth. But you're talented. Jesse? That's sweet. You remember the masculine click of my designer boots. Look, I know exactly what you're doing right now, okay? We didn't date for that long, and, and I don't even know how much of it was actually real, but when you get nervous, you get mean, and you get really pale, and then you start putting your hands through your hair like Danny Zuko. Mercedes, can I just say that you look fierce in your dress? <laughs> totally, Mercedes. <laughs> you both look smoking. <laughs> you damn straight. <laughs> Rachel, I did wrong by you last year, and I came back to make that wrong right. And I came here to tell you that you're going to be the featured soloist at Nationals in New York. Wait, wait, wait how do you know? Did Mr. Schuster tell you? <sighs> Let it suffice to say that I was very involved in the decision. <laughs> got an idea. They say that the best time to start any business is during a recession. I don't know why or even what a recession is, but it's my understanding that we're in one. He's so smart. I, I can't believe he plunked out of college. Time to doubt. To break out. It's a mess. It's a mess. Time to grow. Time to go. At last. At last. Too young to take over. an idea you could you could be like that the show choir whisperer <laughs> i've got a full ride to a little school called the university of california los angeles maybe you've heard of it it's in los angeles all your drama never you were just trying to pull focus oh well there's no one else here it was exhilarating when you're as incandescent as I am no one ever tries to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you it's a shame you're not in vocal adrenaline you and I would get every duet Have you ever worked on a kissing scene before? It's incredibly important for a budding young ingenue. That was good. I have some notes. Hey, Jesse. What'd you order? Scrambled eggs? I mean, I know you usually like them served on people's heads. Quinn, you look stunning. The ghost of Grace Kelly. Let me know if you get tired of your boyfriend stomping on your pretty little feet all night. I'd be more than happy to cut in. Love you guys, but get lost. We'll see you there. My baby teeth. <laughs> So you guys are going to do great today, even though we're definitely going to beat you. Oh. Cocky all of a sudden. I like it. A dream is something that fills up the emptiness inside. The one thing that you know if it came true, all the hurt would go away. You singing Don't Cry For Me Argentina in front of a sold out crowd isn't a fantasy. It's an inevitability. You're mad. No. I'm not mad. Sad that I won't be spending every night on stage with Rachel Berry, absolutely. Got in my car and drove like mad Till I reached Julie's place 
She ran to me with tear-filled eyes and bruises on her face. All at once I saw him there sneaking up behind me. Watch out! The Julian, he's got a gun. Sondheim on music. Jesse, is that you? I'm so glad you came. I picked the Stephen Sondheim biography section for a clandestine meeting place because only he would be able to express my melancholia. I feel bad about what happened at your house. Do you still have my Care Bear? Yes. Well, since we're meeting in the shadows, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Me first. Yeah. The blogs and chat rooms say that we're finished and that you guys are ripe to topple us. We just wanted to show you a little something that we came up with a few days ago to see if you agree with that assessment. Let's go! Uh, another one bites the dust out. Another one bites the dust out. But how long can you stand the heat? Out of the door where the bullets rip out. To the sound of the beat, look out! Another one bites the dust out. <sighs> Thanks for letting us borrow your auditorium, guys. It's quaint. <laughs> Dial Jesse's number on your phone. You haven't deleted his number yet? Just came out so we can talk. Or sing about it. Sing off the parking lot, 5 o'clock, be there. No. The producer spent a month trying to cast the role of Segovia Shade until I finally reminded them they found their Segovia Shade. She auditioned for them. Her name is Rachel Berry. Once upon a time there was light in my life Now I'm only falling apart There's nothing I can say A total eclipse of the heart Do total eclipse of the heart. Turn around, bright eyes. Do it, Jesse. Are you with us or not? Come on, Jesse. Do it. Break it like you broke my heart. I loved you. did to you it's my one great regret yeah it's kind of weird one day you were telling me that you loved me and then you were inexplicably throwing eggs at my head the next i know i know i traded love for a fourth consecutive national championship it was a bum deal for first maybe but for a fourth no way You're wrong, Finn. That kiss was unprofessional. It was too personal and intense. The judges won't like it. They'll consider it common and vulgar and it costs you nationals. Hi, Rachel. You look amazing. And you sounded great. You just shouldn't have kissed him. Why are you here, Jesse? For you. Dude, back off. You're just jealous. <laughs> jealous of what we have and what we shared with the entire audience because it was shared between two people who love each other. It was the Superman of kisses. It, it came with its own cape, right, Rachel? <laughs> 
And I will be there on your opening night, so you better not screw up because I'll have an egg in my purse with your name on it. Oh, wow. You're really not going to let me live that down, are you? Yeah. So as a former Tony winner, I feel like I need to give you some pointers about what you're going to say when you get up there. I'm not going to win. Yes, you are. You are going to win. Hmm? Okay. So when you get up there, you stand up straight, you fake humility, you cry only once when you talk about your dads, and you give all the credit to your incredibly talented director. Wow. He's pretty amazing and <laughs> handsome and has the best taste in women. <laughs> Finally, I can see you crystal clear. Go ahead and sail me out and I'll lay your shit bare. See how I leave with every piece of you. Don't underestimate the things that I will do. There's a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark The scars of your love remind me of us They keep me thinking that we almost had it all The scars of your love, they leave me breathless I can't help feeling we could have You, me Footlights of Broadway. I don't know if you found an apartment yet to live in in New York, but uh, you can always stay at mine until you find one. No strings attached, of course. He said flirtatiously. Well, maybe I can make it up to you because, you know, you're going to be in New York and I'm going to be in New York, so we're bound to run into each other. I mean, we're bound to, yeah. I mean, I think it's inevitable. No, I'm not here for me. I heard that you came here today to see Rachel Berry, and there's something you need to know about her. Rachel's the most talented person I've ever met. Bar none. If anyone's gonna be a star someday, it's her. She'd make an excellent contribution to Niata. You won't regret it. I promise. Anyway, thanks for your time. We make really great music together, Rachel. We always have. <laughs>